is stepping into the unknown and pondering on her life's journey with all its uncertainty. She asks herself queries that confirm her state of mind. Will he take me to the desert or journey me up to the mountain or by the calm sea? Will he drive me in the soft breeze, in the light of the dawn or the blustery wind, in the heat of the day or the cool of the night? Will he require me to use the brightness of heaven's stars to look up for a sign? She wonders. Yet she addresses her prayers to the creator of her path who knows her gazillion steps ahead, just like the wise men who acclaim praise to his shepherd. She prays that he leads her besides the still waters in the path of righteousness for his name's sake and that his presence never fades. Though she walks through the valley of the shadow of death, his rod and his staff comfort her. She prays that she continues to seek and partake in his truth. She praises him because he is good and merciful to guide her all the days of her life. From the road she has been to where he is leading her, she follows him. Despite the unknown, nature never ceases to amaze. Where do butterflies go when it rains? Who dresses the birds of the sky? Who increases the moisture of the rainforest? To be led and to follow should not be done at the same time. How could one listening and speaking simultaneously? She has a lot to say, yet quicken to hear. As many thoughts run through her mind, she quiets them as she listens. She is powerful, yet humble. She is strong and depends still on him. She beautifies her surroundings with nothing one can see. Are the thoughts I entertain echoing the spirit from above? Is what beautiful to my eyes reflect the things above? Should my faith be interrupted by the highs and the lows? She asks again. Free to sing, dance, and laugh. To pause and reflect. Woman in travail and babies' cries. Birds chirping. Waterfalls, each in its season. Many days may be ahead, years or moments. She is leaving doubt behind. She decides not to let the unknown overshadow her excitement for the road ahead. Her Elohim compasses her roundabout, and her faith is in him. And she asks, Should I go north towards the forest, south by my foremother's villages? Should I go further east towards the set-apart place, west, toward the Rocky Mountains? Wherever she is, she needs him here. He covers and leads her well. With him, she guarantees a sure journey. What or who would she leave behind? What or who should she take with her? She eats with satisfaction from the words of the scroll and leaves a little room for the fruits of the ground. She lays safely in her tent and wakes up daily to take on her life journey, and she praises him despite the unknown. Bless Yahuwah, O oh my being, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless Yahuwah, O oh my being, and forget 
not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Yahuwah, who is doing righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed, he made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. Yahuwah is full, merciful, and favor. Slow to anger and abundant in mercy, he will not always hide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities, for as the heaven is high above the earth, so great his mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. Like as father pities his children, so Yahuwah pities them that fear him, for he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust, as for man, his days are as grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place shall know it no more. But the mercy of Yahuwah is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness to the children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. Yahuwah has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless Yahuwah, his heavenly angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, that listen to his voice of his word. Bless you, Yahuwah, all his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. Bless Yahuwah, all his works, in all places of his rule. Bless Yahuwah, all my being.